Hello, it's Ricardo and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. I still have not unlocked the Guardian Hull Reinforcement Blueprint. I unlocked the shields, I unlocked the module, I unlocked all the weapons and all the ships. Still have not unlocked that Guardian Hull Reinforcement. And I need that when battling the Thargoids, it would seem. It gives me a few little advantageous bonuses. Anyway, that's what it's all about. We're going to go and get a Guardian Module Blueprint Fragment. Now, if you're new to the game and new to engineering, and generally new, you'll be thinking, what's this guy all about? What's he talking about? What's going on here? Now, a Guardian Schematic Fragment in particular one that's aimed at modules, can unlock the particular module that I want. You can get ship modules, you can get weapon modules, you can get modules, modules, right? And these Guardian module fragments are encoded material that can be used to unlock Guardian modules. In this particular technology is the module, or you can get ships, or you can get weapons. And each different site hands out different module blueprints at the making of this video. Now it can only be obtained by successfully activating some Guardian technology at a site such as this and scanning its core. Now to unlock all the Guardian module blueprint fragments, right, or Guardian modules, you'll need six fragments. So you'll have to go through this process six times. Now, as I mentioned, Guardian sites such as this um, have different modules per different planet and site. This one is in Sanufi NL-N C23-4 and we're going to be landing on planet B3. This is planet B3. Now there's a Guardian structure there that you'll see on the nav marker once you get about a thousand light seconds away from the planet and you'll be able to guide yourself in. If you're having any problems for that you might want to re-instance, come back into the game or scan it with your surface scanner. Now, once you land close to this particular site, this Guardian structure, and there are a few landing sites quite nearby, make sure you've got some of the following. You're going to need a ship. Now, I'm using a DBX Explorer, not the biggest of ships, but it's certainly nice and nimble, and it's got a lovely, good old jump range on it, about 64 light years. And I know there's going to be people who have got more than that. You're also going to need an SRV. Now, for this, I'm using the Scarab, because it's got four tons of storage now, not two, as before the Scorpion update. And it's got a good scanner on it. So make sure you've got yourself a Scarab, preferably two, if you can fit them into your um, Scarab Bay. Next up, you need some materials to synthesize SRV components, because you're going to incur a little bit of damage. And if anything, you're going to need to rearm the Scarab as well. So you'll need some sulfur and some phosphorus and some iron and nickel. So make sure you're stocked up on some of those basic materials. So once you've got all that then, um, you can go and make your way to this particular planet, planet B3, to the Guardian structure and start going through the process. So you're going to land, no problem. You're going to get into your SRV, <clears throat> all pips to shields for the time being. Get some pips to your weapons because Guardian Sentinels are going to start attacking you. Now, these Sentinels typically have two attacks. They've got their sort of lasers and they've got missiles. Now, this is why you need point defense on your ship because your ship will intercept the missiles that are fired off towards you in your SRV, providing you've parked your ship close enough. Okay? And that's certainly going to help you out. Now, you're going to need some ammo and some ammo recharges from the synthesis aspect of things in the SRV. Mention that. Now you can be using your turret to shoot things down, right? And as you drive around, pillars are going to erupt from the ground. Some will have alien artifacts in them. I'd encourage you to pick those up. You're also going to find other artifacts that you can pick up as well and put into your cargo hold. All this is great stuff. And given the latest community goals we've had of like laying Guardian artifacts into Salvation or other protagonists within the game, collecting these items are certainly going to help. So, 
Once you've been intercepted by all these sentinels, and there can be up to like 15 of these things around, and they're going to be the pain you never knew you had. You've picked up the Guardian Relics, you can see one here that I'm going to shoot. That's going to eject its crystal, get your cargo scoop up, scoop it up, job done. But be sure to keep your eye on the Guardian Sentinels who are going to sneak up behind you and try and stick it up you. You're going to start charging up these pylons. Now, let's talk about pylons. In this particular part of the game, on this particular base, there are going to be six pylons that you have to shoot with your gun to activate. Once you've activated, it'll start a clock. Once it starts the clock, great. You've got a bit of time to find the next one, shoot that, and activate that. Brilliant. Once you've activated all six, that will then power up the device, the machine, right? <clears throat> That's where you need these ancient relics. Now, you'll need one of these per run. So you'll pick up your ancient relic in your cargo scoop, and then once you've charged up all the areas, you're going to make your way over to the main central section of this alien structure and activate the main device. Now driving around this guardian structure um, can be a bit of a pain. It's a bit haphazard, you're going to get thrown this way and that, but you know, I find it quite calming, quite peaceful as well. Yeah, okay, you know, the sentinels are going to come after you and, and, and that's great. But other than that, you know, you can pick up some good Guardian materials. Some of these are going to be used in, you know, advanced ammunition. You need to get your pews on by shooting the sentinels. You're going to be able to scan things. You know, it, it, this part of the game has kind of got it all, in my opinion. So once you've empowered all these pylons, it's now time to turn your attention to that central part of the game, right? That ancient device you're going to power up. Now, on this particular section of the game, you're going to have to use your thrusters to get up to it. So you bounce up. And you will see on the floor, right by here, there is like a sort of an X. X marks the spot. Drive over it, go to your inventory, go to your guardian relic, jettison it. Boom. That then starts the set piece. Now, we've all seen this before. This is for modules though, right? It's no different. This ball erupts from the ground. You get your scanner and your SRV out. You give it a good scanning. And you get your module blueprint. Cool! Rinse and repeat. It is that simple. Either way, I thought I would just go through this. Because some people have been asking, how'd you do it? How'd you get it? How'd you unlock it? Um, you'll need some other materials as well to unlock, and we'll cover that when I actually go and unlock that module from a particular station. I've been Ricardo, thanks very much for watching, see you soon.